Hey guys, uh, today I wanted to talk about a robot that I made out of my LEGO NXT 2.0. Um, I got the instructions from a book that I purchased from Amazon uh, quite a while back. <clears throat> it, uh, it's a great book for beginners on the uh, on the NXT, and uh, it takes you to it takes you uh, through the programming process, like how to it it gets you familiar with the programming and gets you familiar with all the sensors, and it shows you how you can use them. Um, now, this book is entitled The Lego Mindstorms NXT 2.0 Discovery Book, A Beginner's Guide to Building and Programming Robots by Lawrence Volk. Um, you can, or Volk, you can visit Lawrence, uh, you can visit Lawrence, uh, channel, uh, and you can click the link down in the description box, right there. So, uh, pretty much... Uh, first, it gets you familiar with all your parts, gets you familiar with all the um, motors and sensors that it comes with, all the different parts. And it uh, gets you familiar with the NXT programming, uh, programming software. Now, as you progress through, you'll see that, uh, you'll see that it has um, different uh, challenges for you to, uh, for, it has different challenges for you um, to do and you can make it uh, what these challenges are designed to do is to help you practice your programming uh, for this bot uh, and as you progress it gets harder and harder and then you get to the really advanced stuff and uh, one of these bots that you can build is one of, is a bot that I want to talk to you about um, you can also purchase uh, Lauren's uh, 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 the other books by uh, Lauren's uh, Lawrence uh, Valk, and uh, you know they're 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 great books. I'd I'd highly recommend these. Um, now with this, I'm not sure if it would work with the 1.0. Uh, I know he has a book f uh, for um, for the uh, NXT 1.0. He has uh, um, some other ones, uh, and I think one about the first Lego League, which is a competition uh, with Legos. Now. The bot that I want to talk to you about uh, from this book is called. Let's see. Oh, here it is. It's called the Snatcher, the uh, autonomous uh, robotic arm. Now, <clears throat> let me give you a visual. Here is the robot. Uh, now. Pretty much, this uh, this uh, robot has three motors. It has an uh, it has a one touch sensor right here, right there. It has an ultrasonic and a color sensor. Now, what this uh, robot what what it does is uh, it searches for an object. Right, this well at at the start, so the ultrasonic sensor can see. This is really cool. This uh, oh hang on. This closes, and the arm moves up like that, and it allows the ultrasonic sensor to see. Now what it does is it uh, it just uh the robot turns uh approximately 180 at first. And uh, it just uh, searches for any object uh, in its in its range. Now, what it says in the book is to make uh, construct uh, cylinders out of construction paper for uh, this bot to pick up. Now, this uh, keep in mind that this is uh, these are Legos, and um, what you make with Legos may not be entirely strong, or it may be. So you may have to modify this arm first, in or if you want it to pick up like a soda can or something. Now, <clears throat> what uh, after it's done sensing uh, the closest object, it moves up to it and then just makes sure that there aren't any other ones. And as it does so, uh, once it once it doesn't find anything and it, uh, or once it finds something in its range, uh, the closest item it'll stop at. And it'll reverse back, allowing the art, uh, arm to come down. And uh, it'll, quote-unquote, snatch 
snatch whatever it is. Now, uh, the color sensor is here to detect the color of the object. Uh, what I did for the programming, depending on the uh, depending on the color, I um, made it uh, tur uh, turn around. Well, actually, that's part of it. Turns around, and I uh, designed it to where it brings it back a certain uh, certain number of uh, uh, actually a certain distance. So when it's done, I, uh, the arm goes down, and the program is done. Uh, what I did with it was I got, uh, got it to loop. Um, now, if you want to see me, uh, if you want to see this bot in action, uh, just put it in the comments, and uh, if I get enough, then I will make this bot uh, do its thing. Now, the most recent... Now, what I'm trying to do with it now, now that I've built the basic program and uh, made this a robot, um, now what I'm trying to do is to make this remote controlled through um, through Bluetooth. Now, <clears throat> let's see, there's, <clears throat> there's another NXT uh, that I know of, I'm not going to tell you the location of where this other NXT is that I use. Um, it's pretty much our robotic, it's, it's pretty much a organization, but, uh, sadly I cannot reveal information of what this, uh, location is. Now, <clears throat> I'm trying to, uh, make it wireless, um, connect a Bluetooth to it. I can connect the Bluetooth. Now, what I'm trying to do is to... Uh, make this remote controlled so and uh, I'm trying to fix up the arm so that when uh, when I have the remote control in this hand I just turn it on and make it uh, and I can control it to go anywhere I want it I want it to and uh, make it pick up certain objects now we have the basic remote control design but if you have any other designs uh, please put it in a please give me a video response uh, and if you have any ideas for programming it on how to program, uh, how to program the Bluetooth, uh, leave me a message, uh, put in a video response, or leave a comment. Uh, and if you do that, then I will be able to show you uh, the final, uh, the final product of. Uh, yeah, I'll, I will be able to show you the final product. But I'm gonna need your help. So, remember, please leave comments, uh, video response, and uh, send me a message if you want. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, review, if you will, of the Snatcher by Lawrence uh, Valk from his book, The Lego Mindstorms this, uh, 2.0. Uh, the Lego Mindstorms NXT 2.0 uh, Discovery Book, uh, Beginner's Guide to Building and Programming Robots. Um, I'd highly recommend that you visit his channel, subscribe to him and whatnot, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to me too. So uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I hope you enjoy.